All right, time for some mail. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here. And today we got some mail. Five total packages, including two from Andrew. One being sent out late July and one being sent out a few days ago. But we got two from him and three other packages. I need to get caught up. So with that being said, let's start off with the first package for this mail. For Ziri only. Let's open it up. Okay, looks like we got some cards inside here, but let's start off with the note here. Okay. All right. Hey, Ziri, my name is Cameron, and I'm 13 years old, and I live in a small town in southern Alberta. I have been card collecting for about three years now, and my best pull, I think, is an Austin Matthews Draft Day Short Print 1617 Series 1. Worth $3.99 Canadian. Wow, that's one heck of a pull. I believe those are like 1 in 12,000 hobby packs and like 1 in 30,000 retail pack so that's an amazing pull congrats on that but also i have a Devonte smith pelly day with a cup i'm a hawks fan and i like alex to bring it in particular i gave you a few cards mostly toronto and you also get two jersey cards as well enjoy from cameron p.s do you want to buy my matthews I know this was sent in early July. Hopefully you still have it. If you pull something like that, I would highly recommend holding on to it as that's kind of like a once in a lifetime pull there. Like I don't think I've pulled anything one in 12,000 packs, maybe one in 10,000 packs and 8,000, but nothing that crazy. But let's see what Cameron sent. Okay, first off, we got a few Jumbo cards. Hey, we got a Rasmus Anderson, oversized Young Guns. Rasmus Anderson there. 1718. Got some 1718 cards in here. We got uh, Patrick Line. An oversized card. That must be Series 2 then. There you go. And we got a Michael Kepney. Winter Classic card. Back when Tins had oversized cards. I hope they're switching it back, but you know they're not. <laughs> you know they're not. All right, continuing on here, the package from Cameron. A lot of scotch tape I had to work with there, but first off, we got an Elias. Now... Yeah, I had to take scotch tape off it, so it kind of got messed up. I do have another one of these, so that one is roughed up, though. But there's an Elias uh, gold etchings from Tim's. We have rookie materials, so here's the two jerseys. Uh, Nick Shore rookie materials. Nice, I like rookie materials. Still have quite a few of them. This one's a 15-16 one. Nick Shore, he's on the Winnipeg Jets as of right now. So there's that. Oh, we got a 13-14 UD game jersey. Patrick Sharp. There you go, Sharp. That's not too bad there. UD game jersey. Some more Tim's base. That's an old Tim's base. 1516. So that's first year Tim's. So wow. Yeah, I put out a video for 1516 Tim's. It wasn't like a typical pack opening video. I think I was like greasily weighing the packs or something. But yeah, there's the haul. 1516. And then we got some uh, Panini All Goalies. That weird set where it had like every goalie from like that year. You get like a jersey card. But 1011, you got Pavlik. And then you got Peter Menino. Like Peter Menino. Why is this guy have a card? Like who the heck is that guy? There's Varlamov, Holpe, some relevant goalies there. There's Patrick Waugh, Corey Schneider, Michael Neuverth, Chris Mason. Some Thrashers in there. See, like you got like your third string Thrashers goalie there for Atlanta. But last year for the Thrashers, pretty interesting there. So, and the final thing from Cameron, we got this uh, like repack here. Okay. Oh jeez. Uh, all right. Starting off here, we got two. Jeez, I just don't have the voice right now. Lou Cheech. Thomas. Oh, I'm struggling right now. I uh, got Mike Pekka. Victory from 0607. Yeah, 607 victory. Okay, we got a Kadri. So here's a bunch of Leaf stuff. There's Kadri. Still miss Kadri. There's Bernie, that nice 1415 Series 1 base. There's Matthews. Wait, is that 1920? That must be the picture from the playoff goal, right? From uh, 2019 playoffs when they scored against Boston. That has to be, right? We buried it there. Um, there's Jeff Reese from Score 91. Austin Matthews, game day action. There's Freddie Anderson. See if he stays on the team. I don't know about Freddie at this point. He has one year left. I think they should give him that one year and then decide from there when he's a free agent. But there you go. And you got Jonas Gustafson, the monster from Donruss. Jake Gardner, Kapanen, some former Leafs there. There's Willie. Uh, Dimitri Kristich. The heck is that? It's supposed to be like an autograph or something? It's a crease on there. Maybe. Not sure. I got Wilf Paymont. There's Lanny McDonald. I should have pointed out first. Kansas City Scouts. That's interesting. That's from uh, yeah, in the game there. And then you got the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Lanny McDonald. That's some interesting cards. And then you got the Cleveland Barons. Some defunct teams here. Dave Gardner. Very interesting there. There's Freddie Anderson. 
Zaitsev. Oh, another Elias there. Gold etchings. There we go. That one's in better shape there. We got Willie. Janssen. There's a Miller. 15, 16 Tims. Uh, you got some credentials. Mark Shifley. Not the actual product credentials. I should open more credentials. Loss of this card must be reported immediately. <laughs> Did not notice that the first time uh, pulling these. Huh. We got a Terry Martin from Centennial and a James Neal base. Okay. So, Cameron, thank you for that. Some interesting stuff there. Appreciate it. All right, let's continue on here with the next package. Okay, July 14th. See, I'm behind. It's two months later. Dear Ziri, thank you for the very entertaining YouTube content. No problem. Appreciate the compliment. <laughs> My son, William, and I watch every video. Our favorite parts are when you over-dramatize some of the players' names. <laughs> well, okay, I'm struggling right now to do them. I'm not going to lie. We have a YouTube channel as well. William's Top Box Brand. Come check it out. There we go. I'll throw it up on screen. If you guys want to check out uh, William's top card breaks, go check them out there. P.S. and close are some of your favorite polls. Enjoy. Scott and William. And you got Pikachu and Eevee there. So that must be from like a uh, Elite Trainer Box. What the heck are these from? The little notes you get with the uh, Elite Trainer Box. Is it Elite Trainer Box? I don't know. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I already see what that is. That's questionable. Let's just uh, do that. <laughs> okay that's william right there right but yeah the card behind it david Ayers <laughs> above the ice there we go there you go packing tape look at that perfect condition though but yeah david Ayers above the ice this is like a promo thing i actually got one of these just sitting here they brought these out around june or at least when i got one Maybe it was before that, I don't remember, but there you go. There's there. There, uh, there we go, I mentioned his name. <laughs> well, yeah, let's see what uh, Scott Williams said in here. Okay, so I'm assuming that's William right there. <laughs> nice custom there. Look at that. Thank you for your purchase. That's really cool. Right there. A little business card. Oh, look at this. What is this? I don't think I have this card. But first off, there's Brian Tomas. I am struggling today. I apologize for that. But we got some uh, Uncle Ton here. Oh my gosh. I don't have this one. Jeez. What is from Pinnacle 9697. So that's a second year Uncle Todd. Awesome. Love the Fisherman Uncle Todd cards. Got another uh, 9697, right? Yeah, second year Uncle Todd's here. Yeah, a bunch of second year Uncle Todd's. And we got uh, Uncle Todd towards the end there. When he was on Detroit there. So 1213 OPG. Awesome. I'll go right to the Uncle Todd collection. Very cool. So, Scott and William, appreciate that. If you guys want to go check out William's top box card breaks, go check him out. So, thank you guys for that. All right. The last package before we open the stuff from Andrew, this one is very intriguing. It says custom made for Ziri. We got this right here. Hey, Ziri. After 25 years, I recently got back into collecting hockey cards, and I've enjoyed watching your channel and learning about all the different brands and releases nowadays. There are a lot of videos out there of people opening packs and boxes of hockey cards, but only one who does it like Ziri. It's refreshing to see someone have as much fun opening a mystery pack from Dollarama as they would a box of the cup. It's also nice to hear someone who can actually pronounce players' names properly. I try. I do know that everybody mispronounces, like, Swedish players' names. I know that's a thing. And there's some names I'll always struggle with, but I do try. So I appreciate that compliment. Keep up the great work. As a small thank you for helping to rekindle my interest in the hobby, I have sent you something that I've created specifically for you. I hope that it enhances your collection. Enjoy. Hank. It's a big package here. So let's open it up. Contains six guaranteed premium hits. Ooh, premium hits. Okay, let's see what Hank sent. Okay, seal is off here. What the heck am I feeling? I feel like, car oh, geez. Oh, some of it fell. Let's just grab a card here. Uh, congratulations. You have received a custom handcrafted Todd Bertuzzi art card containing a patch not game worn or player worn. Enjoy your card. Instagram custom patch cards. I got Hank's auto there, 2020. Okay. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's sick. I got a custom Uncle Todd Mega Patch. Three of six. Wait, is it the whole thing? Oh my gosh, it is. Well, <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So it looks like it is, but first says Ziri. Almost forgot. Please check out my Instagram account. Custom patch cards. <laughs> Enjoy. Go check out Hank. Custom patch cards. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here are the cards. I can't really lay it out here. So um hopefully I did some B-roll of this.
That is something else there. We got the stick and rink with the um, old Vancouver colors there. The same as Uncle Todd the back there. That's so sick. I'm going to have to investigate this card here. Custom card. Let's uh, see what it's all about here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so well done. That is so awesome. Like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Hank. That is so sick. Wow. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. Kind of makes me wish uh, Uncle Todd actually had a mega patch, but he's probably not going to have any other cards, any products. I mean, Nephew Tyler will, but I don't know. Maybe they'll eventually give Uncle Todd some, uh, some love. Hopefully they will. That'd be cool, but wow. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, Hank, thank you for that. Go check him out. Custom patch cards on Instagram. Awesome. That's unreal. All right, let's continue on. All right, now let's do the two packages from Andrew, aka the Card Collector 506 on Instagram. Let's check out the first package here that was shipped out in late July. So yeah. Hey Ziri, another package for you. It's not quite as nice as the Kuznetsov Young Guns Canvas Buyback, Auto, or the Rask and Phil Future Watch I sent in the past. Andrew has sent a lot. He sent these two cards here as well in the some of the packages he sent. But geez. It's a bunch of FWA, come on, you're spoiling it. From through the years and a hard signed in-person auto of Sid, come on. That would fit in nicely with your Sid limited autos. As always, keep up the great work. Andrew, card collector 506. Why do you have to spoil it, Andrew? Ah, BS, feel free to pass the Elias on to James if you wish. That's one thing, if you guys send me Elias or Quinn Hughes, I will relay it to uh, James, unless you really want me to keep it. Also for Andrew here, I am collecting Panarin for him. He's actually looking for Panarin Future Watch right now. I'll probably say that in the next package. Also McKinnon Future Watch, but I'll get to that later. But yeah, let's see what uh, Andrew sent in this first package here. All right, might as well start with the loose ones here. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> first card, fluorescence, Elias. There you go. Another one for James. I have not sent out the package for James yet with the, uh, I will send that out next week when I actually can send stuff out. Frick myself pretty hard, but yeah, there you go. Fluorescence. <laughs> Elias. Awesome. I'll be going to James. Very nice. Series two, 1819. I have a couple of these. Very nice looking cards. And this must be the in-person Sid Auto. I wonder if Andrew got Sid to sign it himself. But yeah, let's reveal it. Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh. That looks good. Really nice there. Cindy Crosby, authentic profiles. In-person auto. Awesome. I need to get more intel from uh, Andrew on this. And more intel I did get. So Andrew got it signed from a guy on his hockey team when he went to see a game in New Jersey. He got a few for Andrew. And the guy that got the autos from is friends with the equipment manager for the Devils. So him and his son went down there and got a bunch of autos of Sid and met Sid. So that's pretty cool. But there you go. That's so sick. Crosby. Now, there's no COA or anything, so there's no real validity to this card. But if Andrew got Sid to sign this himself, then that's pretty awesome. That looks pretty good. Sid, in-person auto there. Awesome. Very awesome. Sidney Crosby. There you go. All right, here's the next part and the last thing from the first package from Andrew. Let's get this open. Okay, I think I got it open there. Okay, apparently there's a bunch of Future Watch autos from through the years in here. So let's check it out. First card, Elias. Retro draft picks. Didn't pull this from the inner. Spoiler alert, did not pull a retro draft picks of Elias from the inner. So I'll go to James. Next up, you got some Ultra. Fleer Ultra. Heater. Danny Healy. I opened a lot of this year. That's, uh, ooh, what the heck? Dang. Okay, well, you know, the heater, 910 Ultra, open a bunch of that. Got a Eric Carlson rookie redemption from that year. We got some future watch autos, 1920, Rem Pitlick. I think I got Pitlick, but there you go, Rem Pitlick. Got Noah Dobson, which I also have now from Kenny, but there's another one, Noah Dobson, and the next one. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oliver Wallstrom, don't have that one. He was that nine-year-old kid that had the fancy moves in TD Garden. That's Wallstrom, kind of underwhelming this past year, but there's Wallstrom. Next up, Zach McEwen. Not sure if I have McEwen, I can't even remember at this point, but awesome, <laughs> Zach McEwen. Next one, what is it? What is this? Oh, we got a 0607 randomly. Guillaume Latendres. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. I'll take it. Nice. On card auto. Big on card auto. He was half decent. And we got a 1819. Very familiar with 1819 at this point. Uh, who is it? Oh, Louis Belpedio. 1819 Future Watch there. Louis Belpedio. 
Geez, are these just all future watches? Oh, okay, we got a chirography. James Shepard. That's a really nice looking card. Uh, we got patch cards. Should we save the patch cards? You know what? Let's save the patch cards and we'll move this to the front. But there's a um, James Shepard chirography. Really nice. That's 910. All right, we got some regular feature watches here. We'll put them to the front here. There's uh, Chad LaRose. I think there's like 60 from 056 non-autos, but those are numbered to 1999. Jeff Platt, Yuri Novotny. I don't think I have any of those, so that's awesome. Oh, Ian White. I don't have that one. Future watch auto. Oh, and Jeremy Williams behind him there. Awesome. Might have Jeremy Williams. I honestly don't know, but there you go. Ian White. Pretty sure I don't have that one, so awesome. We got a Ryan Dezingle. That was the one on the back, uh, Future Watch. I don't have that one. I know I'm looking for Dezingle stuff for Eric, but uh, I don't have that one, so sorry, sorry Eric. I'm gonna keep that one. What else we got here? Oh, we got some more cards in the back here. Oh, Rhett Gardner, uh, Future Watch. I think I have that one. I'm not sure. There's Rhett Gardner. <sighs> okay, what else we got here? Uh, another Future Watch, 0506, <laughs> with uh, looks like Sens colors there. Yep, Sens. Brandon Bochensky. I don't think I have that one either. Oh, there's a limited auto patch there. It's like it's Yuri Laterra Future Watch auto patch, right? Is that Laterra? Yeah, Yuri Laterra. Jeez, Future Watch auto patch. Now, his regular Future Watch is a redemption. And yes, questionable actions, Yuri Laterra there. <laughs> but yeah, um, awesome. Don't have Laterra at all. Auto patch, that is awesome. Future Watch auto patch. But let's continue on here. Uh, how am I going to do this? Next up, we got a future watch. It's a uh, center from the Sabres. 1819. Is that Middlestat? Yep. Casey Middlestat. Future watch. That's a good one. He could pan out. Definitely a disappointment as stated in my inner. But still, Casey Middlestat. He could still pan out. Oh my gosh. We got a heat leak card there. But we'll see what's before it here. Oh, uh, <laughs> future greats. Danny Heatley, 1717 of 3,500. Unfortunately, he does not have a future watch. This is probably the closest thing to it. He has a buyback Young Guns Auto from 0102 SBA. So I have to open 0102 SBA. I just found that out recently. So I have to do that. And SB Notables are here. The 999. That's pretty cool there. Look at that. And the final card. Oh, wow. Look at that patch. Shane O'Brien, Future Watch Auto Patch. What is that patch from? That Reebok, perhaps? Or is that from the Ducks logo? That's awesome. <laughs> so there's that. That's really nice there. Shane O'Brien, Future Watch Auto Patch. That feels thinner than other auto patches where I'm just fused. But there you go. Very awesome. <laughs> So Andrew got one more package from me, so let's uh, continue on here from Andrew. Jeez. All right, next package from Andrew. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, just grab the note. Okay. Hey Ziri, another package for you. I think you will enjoy this one. <laughs> keep up the great work. Thanks, Andrew, card collector 506. There you go. P.S. Keep an eye out for me for a Panarin or McKinnon future watch auto. So Panarin, I don't have Panarin myself, but that's definitely something I can get for you. There's no way in heck I'm pulling either one of these. They're both redemptions. I think buybacks, you can pull them, but I'll just be smart and pick up at least a Panarin for you. A McKinnon, that's a tough one. I do have two, but yeah, I don't think I can part ways with them. One of them has sentimental value because it was from uh, my old local card shop. And the other one I got in a set, but it's still in a redemption tape. And it's like one of the main cards I want to get graded. Like, so... But yeah, I can definitely uh, help you out with that. I'll keep an eye out for both. McKinnon's only going up from here, I'll tell you that. It's probably going to be in McDavid territory for price pretty soon. I'll tell you that right now. We'll see. He's been robbed three times in a row of 100 points. Renton had missed significant time. Landeskog missed time this past year. If he stays healthy, McKinnon, he could be looking at like a 120-point season with a Hart Trophy. Absolutely. He's going to win a Hart Trophy. Just a matter of when. But yeah, Panarin's also a great player. His point totals, he's like over a point per game in his career, even though he came in later on. But yeah, I'll keep an eye out for those players for you. So with that being said, let's see what Andrew sent in this second package. Keeping it very simple here. Keeping it very simple. Let's uh, open it up here. Oh, okay. First uh, future watch here is um, Andrew McDonald. Andrew McDonald. There you go. Card number 911 of 999. Wait, what the heck is this? Number to 25. Wait, what the heck is this? Number to 25. Wait, what? Pavel Datsuk? What the heck is this? Hold on. What is this? Pavel Datsuk. Oh, that's sick. Impressions Auto. 
Pavel Datsuk. No way. Don't have a Pavel Datsuk auto, that is sick. Arguably the greatest hands of all time. Definitely in my lifetime, magic hands. Also great two-way player as well. Just awesome player, hope he gets in the hall. Still playing in the KHL Datsuk, so that is sick right there. Wow, that is awesome. There you go. 1819 SPX. Awesome. How will that go? Oh my gosh. Next card. We got a Nicholas Backstrom Young Guns. I pulled one of these way back when. I remember it. Went to a corner store. Three packs of Series 1, 708. First pack base. Second pack. Nicholas Backstrom. Third pack. Patrick Kane. That was uh, one heck of a opening, but that's awesome. Glad to get one of these back. And are you kidding? No way. No freaking way. Nicholas Backstrom? No. Future Watch Auto of Nicholas Backstrom. That is one of the key ones that I need. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. Unbelievable. Look at that. Backstrom Future Watch. Auto looks great on there. So sick. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. Next card up. Oh my gosh. Ilya Kovalchuk. Future Watch Auto, oh my gosh. Future Watch Auto of Kovalchuk. That's the limited one to 150. That is just crazy. Don't have Kovalchuk either. That's a key one I need as well. And the final card. Unfortunately, Andrew has a hard time keeping secrets, but I can't believe this. Carry. Oh my God. Oh, Carey Price, Fear, what? Carey Price, Future Watch. From Andrew, oh my gosh, that is awesome. Auto is solid on there. Everything looks pretty solid. I would have to investigate it more. Either way, Carey Price, Future Watch. Uh, I don't believe it. Okay, A Andrew. What? I just, this is ridiculous. What? Uh, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, oh my gosh. Like, what? Not to mention, like, oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. I'll definitely be um, hunting a bread man out for you. Hunting as in the. Uh, Looking to buy one. So, hey, if anybody's a Panarin Future Watch for sale, even two of them, do a two for one because I'm looking for one myself. Hey, let me know. I'm very interested because what the heck? Like, oh my gosh. Andrew. Thank, like, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Like, there's my most sought after card. Right there. Just like that. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. So I'm done. Is this it? No more collecting? I pretty much have every card I'm looking for. I'm not even joking. Like what else do I need now? I think I need the two key Bruins, uh, Pasta and Bergeron, but I'm not too worried about that. I need Stamkos. I'm also not really looking for him. Price was the last one I was really going hard for. So yeah, I guess my most sought after card now, I don't really have one. Maybe uh, a black future watch of a key player. Eventually I'll uh, try to get a key future watch black, but oh my gosh, look at this. Carey Price. Ah, jeez. So yeah, guys, there's another mail video. I just can't believe this. Like, the support in general on this channel. I just can't believe it. Like, it's absolutely crazy. I, I just... <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Like, thank you guys so much. <sighs> With that being said, stay tuned for more breaks to come. I still have a few boxes sitting around here. I haven't opened, I gotta get to. I will be opening more mail shortly. I got a lot of mail to go through. <laughs> Just crazy. You guys are absolutely amazing. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.